Hello, welcome to Smoky Edge Neoterics and Collectibles. Today I have a 1951 GE Model 515F table clock radio. It's brown model in color. That's what the name is anyway. It's more like a burgundy marble finish. This radio also is known as a Musophonic. And like I said, it was made in 1951. It's been gone over, it's been recapped. I changed the rectifier tube, it was shot. So everything functions as it should now. <clears throat> so I'll go over all the functions of the, of the uh, unit and its features so you get an idea of how this thing works. Pretty much what the newer clocks do now, but it's all mechanical back in these days. Um, we'll set it up first <clears throat> for... Uh, I know it's going to make noise. I had to test it out before I made the video. <laughs> like they do on TV. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll set it for 9 o'clock. We'll set it for alarm like you just heard. And we'll go through the radio stuff a little bit later. Okay, we'll spin this around at 9 o'clock. we I have it set for. Oops, right, let me leave this out. I don't do anything about that. And here's a nice loud alarm. And we'll shut that off. It has a sleep feature here too that if you want to go to bed at night, listen to the radio. It'll shut off up to an hour depending where you set it at. And now, it has a switch in the back because you can turn the radio off and when you when you set the alarm for wake up, it'll run this receptacle here without running the radio. So if you have a lamp or some other device that you want it to go off with, it'll run that instead of the radio. But right now we'll turn the radio on and we'll make this noisy again and we'll set this to 10 o'clock. And we'll flip this over to wake up. And now we'll spin the clock around again. And we will wait for the tubes to warm up. <laughs> you notice I put the clock on wake up this time, not on manual. I don't know if you can see it with a glare or not, but there's two settings. Okay. Somebody, I wouldn't know what to write for you because and so that's the alarm function. We'll turn that off, and that will turn the radio off completely. Then you put it over to manual, and you can run it in manual mode, which means it'll be on all time, or you set the sleep to turn back on again forever, how long you want it to run for. Anyway, that's the features and the function of this GE radio. There is one little problem on this back corner. It looks like it got dropped on the table or something. It's got a little chip on the bottom. And it's got a little crack. I glued it back in place again. It doesn't affect anything. You really can't see it. It's on the back corner. So it's not really a big disaster. It has a couple scratches on the top. I guess they show up a little bit. There's scratches on the bottom, which who cares about the bottom? Nobody looks at that anyway. Um, beyond that, it's really a nice clock radio. It's ready to run and last for many years and look nice on your shelf. And it can be used too. <clears throat> That's about it for this radio. I hope you enjoy it. And I really appreciate you looking at it. And this is Ed from Smoky Edge Neoterics and Collectibles. Thank you.